Hello everyone, welcome to Mind Brain Talks, the place where you find diverse and scientifically accurate information regarding psychology, neurosciences, neuropsychology, psychotherapy, and research methods every single week. My name is Bruno Faustino. I am a licensed clinical psychologist and neuropsychologist who's been working as a therapist, researcher, and educator for the past few years. In Mind Brain Talks, I discuss and describe topics from psychology to neurosciences and I try to explain them the best as I can for you to understand and for you to know more about it. All contents here are just for educational purposes and it's not intended to diagnose any psychiatric condition or neurological disorder. So, without further delay, let's jump for today's content. So, now let's look to the manuals that I recommend to you today. The first one is The Principles of Neurosciences from Eric Kendall. The second one is Neuroscience Explore the Brain from Beer Corners and Paradiso. And the fourth is Neuroscience, a sixth edition from Purvis and Agustin. The fourth is Fundamental of Neurosciences for Basic and Clinical Applications. The fifth is the ninth edition of Biopsychology, which is a very good manual. And the sixth from Michael Gazzina, the Cognitive Neurosciences, which is the fifth edition. So, this video is focused on neurosciences. Here I'll give to you a definition and I will describe some brief moments in history that helped to shape the modern neurosciences. Also, I will describe to you the major branches of neurosciences and we can see how it is focused on specific research subjects, ok? So, let's go! So, and now let's see the definition of neurosciences. Neuroscience or neural science is the scientific field that studies the nervous system and how the nervous system works and how it is structured and how it evolved and developed through time. Neuroscience is an interdisciplinary science that shares commonalities with other scientific disciplines such as biology, chemistry, psychology, computer sciences and medicine. Neuroscience not only seeks to understand how the nervous system functions in the healthy conditions, but also it studies how the nervous system functions in neurodevelopmental, neurodegenerative and psychiatric disorders. Neuroscientists may explore the relationships between brain, mind and behavior from molecular level to complex overt behavior. Neuroscientists can specialize themselves in a wide range of fields from neurobiology, neuroanatomy, neuropsychopharmacology to neuropsychology, which means that neurosciences is a very wide field where different professionals can specialize themselves in different branches, but we will look to this in the future. So, neuroscience research methods may include fMRI, MEG, EEG or TMS, and a neuroscience research methods may also include experimental tasks, neuropsychological batteries or single cell recordings. Don't worry, in the future I will produce some different videos uh, focused on these specific research methods, ok? So now let's look to the main goals uh, of neurosciences according to the Society of Neurosciences. The first goal is to understand the human brain and how it functions. The second goal is to understand and describe how the central nervous system develops, matures and maintains itself. And the third, one main goal is to analyze and understand neurological and psychiatric disorders and discover methods to prevent or to heal them. Now let's look to a brief history of neurosciences. So, as you saw from the previous videos, Aristotle, the Greek philosopher, had a theory that the brain was a blood cooling mechanism. Now we go jump to a more contemporary approach where Paul Broca worked with patients who had brain damage and concluded that different regions in the brain were involved in specific functions. Broca's area is responsible for speech production and damage to this area during a stroke can lead to Broca's aphasia, which is the inability to produce accurate or coherent speech. 
helmets in the 19th century measure the speed of which nerve cells produced electric impulses. So, as you can see, some uh, parts of the history of neurosciences were covered in the previous video. So, you can look to that video and you can see in detail what happened during the story of neuropsychology of neurosciences. Camillo Golgi, an Italian physician and pathologist, used silver chromate salt to see what neurons look like. In the beginning of the 20th century, Santiago Ramon and Cajal, Spanish histologist and neuroscientist, hypothesized that neurons are independent nerve cell unities. Also, in the beginning of the uh, 20th century, Golgi and Cajal jointly received the Nobel Prize in Physiology for their work and categorizations of neurons in the brain. Since 1950s, research and practice in neurosciences fuel advances in our understanding of the brain, nervous system and general neurosciences. So, as you can see here, there are lots of pieces that were missing from this video regarding the history of neurosciences. So, in the future, I will produce a more length video with the more in-depth information where you can see how specific events in time and how specific contributions were the essentials to the understanding of how neural networks work and how the brain produces cognition and behavior. So, now let's look to the major branches in neurosciences. Behavioral neuroscience focus on the neurobiological basis of behavior to study how the brain relates to specific behaviors. Molecular and cellular neurosciences studies the form, the physiological and molecular properties of neurons and how they make up the brain and the nervous system as we know. Affective neurosciences is the exploration on how neurons and complex neural networks behave in relationship to emotions and affective processing. Cognitive neurosciences is focused on the study of the neural basis of cognition. It draws from psychology, cognitive science, linguistics and philosophy. Clinical neurosciences is the study of disorders of the nervous system. And computational neuroscience is the application of advanced computer simulations to study how the brain computes information. Social neuroscience studies how neurobiological systems relate to behavior and social interactions. Developmental neurosciences studies the development of the nervous system at the cellular level. And neuroimaging, which is a medical imaging that concentrates on the brain. So, research in neurosciences inform different clinical approaches. When we look to medicine, we can see that neurosciences inform neurology, psychiatry, neurosurgery, neuropathology and so forth. In psychology, research in neurosciences informs clinical psychologists, psychotherapists and clinical neuropsychologists. So, research in neurosciences may also inform physiotherapy, such as rehabilitation methods and different techniques. So, this is not an extensive approach, okay? There are lots of clinical approaches that neurosciences inform that were not listed here. So, this is not an extensive list, okay? So, take this in mind. So, now let's just summarize the contents of this video. So, we look to the definition of uh, neurosciences, which mainly is the study of nervous system. We look to the history of neurosciences and we look how it developed in research methodologies. Also, we look to the major branches of neurosciences, which is behavioral, clinical, cognitive, molecular neurosciences. So, as you can see, this is just a short video to explain to you the fundamentals of neurosciences from definition to its major branches. So, in the future, I will produce more videos that will describe you with more depth these domains of this scientific field, okay? So, it's all for today. Don't forget to see the video's description regarding today's theme to look to the manuals that I recommend to you. Also, if you like what I'm doing here, please consider to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Welcome to Mind Brain Talks and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!